So we know from general medicine that pressure sores occur simply when you put pressure, mechanical pressure, on the outside of a group of capillaries or vessels. So you get these on pressure points around the body. If you leave a patient in bed without moving for a long enough period, their skin will necrose. Now, I think the same thing happens in certain areas of the face, particularly in the midline for some reason. So the chin, the nose, and the glabella all have a particular propensity to necrose in a different way. So what this looks like when you see a patient is an area of necrosis that tends to be round and is associated with high pressure tissues. So the chin can, in some patients, feel quite thick, the dermis of the chin, and a circular lesion around the surface of the chin underneath a pressure point is sometimes caused by high volume, high pressure, high G-prime dermal filler products. Similarly, in the, in the glabella, I've seen a number of cases where patients treating lines in the, in the glabella get a distinct black line, which doesn't track the supertrochlear artery. It's just over the section they injected, and you get a superficial necrosis. This also, for me, fits with a pressure that is caused by the filler on the capillaries rather than the artery itself, because otherwise you'd expect more of the area to be affected.